Welcome back to another video. So today I have a pretty huge ASOS haul. I have some shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, coats, pants, boots. I have quite a few items. I'm so gonna be trying them all on. Stay tuned. <laughs> Before I get into this, I know I haven't posted in a few weeks, probably almost a month. No excuses. Trust me, I get it. Only thing I can tell y'all is I, I got some things I'm working on. And with this cold weather that we've been having, so as a lot of you probably already know, I'm in Ohio and our winters can get really brutal sometimes. And this one in particular, it's probably one of the worst that we've had in a while. I'm talking blizzards below zero temperatures. It, it's, it's been really bad. So that Alpha Industries coat that y'all saw me buy in the last couple videos, it's been coming in pretty handy. And I know y'all want me to post more, but trust me, I'm working on it. So for starters, the first thing we have here is gonna be this kind of pinkish salmon-like color t-shirt from Menace. <clears throat> now, when I saw this, the first thing that jumped out at me, of course, was the color. This soft pink salmon rose color has been trending for quite a while. And I love the versatility of a lot of different things you can wear it with, whether it's with black denim, whether it's with, you know, khaki, whatever the case may be, this is something you can pull off with quite a few different things. It has menace and script right across the front chest, drop shoulders, short sleeves, a split hem. And one of the things I like quite a bit is that it has this back seam stitch right down the middle. This particular shirt is in an oversized fit. So I went down a size. Usually I wear a size large, so I went down to a size medium because I knew I didn't want it, you know, super baggy and flowing on me like I'm wearing a dress. That is not my style. But the way it actually fits on me is what I like and how I like um, shirts like this to fit. It still gives you that nice flowy feel, breezy without being too, you know, long or wide. It's just a really nice fit. I wasn't really familiar with too much of the brand Menace. From what I've seen, they make some decent stuff. So I might check them out in the future. So next up, we have this gray sweatshirt from ASOS. All of it's from ASOS, <laughs> but this, was, this one is branded by ASOS. I got it in a size large, so I went true to size. It's nothing really special or spectacular about it. It's almost in a light heather gray material. And one thing I like about this one is that it's really nice and lightweight. It's not too heavy. So it's something that you can layer with without it being too bulky. It features a straight hem. You know, sometimes with these sweatshirts and these crew necks, the hem is a little tighter than the rest of it, but this one is flowy. So you can wear something else under it, like I mentioned, and it look very seamless. I think the shoulders also fit very well. And probably the biggest thing I love about this, which was the thing I was most hesitant about before I bought it, was the neck. Sometimes in sweatshirts and crew necks, the necks get a little baggy and saggy and loose. And that's just a really bad look. But with this one, it fits right up at the neck, which of course is how you want it to fit. All in all, this one is a really nice sweatshirt. I'm probably gonna look to buy some more colors of these. Very affordable. So if you want some nice affordable sweatshirts, make sure you check out ASOS. Before I go any further, I wanna make sure I don't forget to talk about these jeans that I picked up. These are the skinny stretch jeans by New Look. I've talked about these plenty of times. These were the jeans I featured in the best affordable denim video I did. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. I find that these are some of the best fitting jeans as I mentioned before, also for an affordable price. Now I do have these jeans already in black, but those had distress on the knees and then I decided to destroy them some more. So these are pretty much the same exact jeans, same color, same brand. The only thing that these don't have is the rips. And the reason why I decided to get these is because I kept wanting to wear my jeans with the rips in them and it's too cold for that. But I love the way they fit, I love the way they felt, but I just, I can't wear them this time of year. So I decided to just get the same exact things without the rips. All right, moving along. So the next thing I have is going to be this burgundy turtleneck. Now this one is by the brand River Island. I picked this one up in a size large and you're gonna notice with the rest of these items that burgundy and maroon was and has been a very big staple in my wardrobe this winter. So turtlenecks are something I've worn when I was little, but as I've you know grown up through my teenage years, I didn't really wear them that much. And you know, as a young adult, I still haven't really worn them. But as I get older and I'm dressing more casual, I find that they do have a place in my wardrobe. So lately I've been buying various colors and brands and styles just to try to incorporate those and have a more grown up feel and have a more grown up feel and aesthetic to my look at certain times. Now what I like about this one is mainly the material. It's extremely light, 
soft and breathable. And not to mention that it also feels really good on my body. Nothing really fancy about it. It has a rib neck, some really nice stitch details across the shoulders, but that's a pretty much about it. Burgundy turtleneck from River Island. Oh, and I don't know if I said, but this one is a size large. So next up, we have another turtleneck, and this one is going to be in black. Now, this one is by the brand New Look. So it's the same brand that I got in my jeans. With this one, it's gonna be much thicker than the last one I showed you and not as stretchy, uh, which isn't a bad thing, but I find that this is a little bit harder to layer over because of the thickness. But of course, when it's really cold outside and you wanna be warm, you wanna wear something like this, opposed to the last one. But if I had to give quality points to either or, it would probably be the River Island turtleneck over this one. Not necessarily a bad thing, just it felt better. And by the way, all the looks that I'm wearing, I'm wearing those same black New Look jeans. This one was a black turtleneck by New Look, size large. I know, I know, it's ugly. It looks like somebody's grandma's picnic cloth or something, or like an old, 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 ugly plaid chair. It's ugly, but that's the beauty of it. So this blazer is something that you can wear and have it stand out. Whether it's gonna be all black with a nice cognac brown shoe, all white, whether it's cream beige, like whatever the case may be, this is used to break up a rather boring outfit to give it a bit of pop and contrast. So as I mentioned to you when I showed you the River Island turtleneck, I've been really into the burgundies. And when I saw this, I was like, it's ugly, but I like it. So I decided to just buy it. And as you can see, the tags are still on it because I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it or not. But after putting it on, um, and I decided to put it on with that black turtleneck, I really liked the way it looked. So for sizing wise with this one, I got this one in a 40 long. And this is a super skinny fit. And I like it because it gives you that really tapered waist and kind of flares out again around your hips. I think that's a really nice look when it comes to blazers. Just that super, well-fitted tailor look is mainly the look you really want to go for when you're you know whether it's dressing up or even dressing down really as you can see for the plaid hits you have the burgundy of course a light gray stripes dark gray and a little teeny tiny stripe of orange it stands out in the midst of the rather dark colors not too much to really say about it besides the obvious monstrosity of a situation that this blazer is uh, but it does have a left chest pocket two front pockets, single button, back slit vent right down the middle, which I haven't opened up yet because again, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it, but I will keep it. That's this very hideous blazer that I kind of dig. Now this next one is another jacket and I'm gonna be honest, it's not really my style. I saw it, I added it to my save for letter list on ASOS and I kept going back and watching and watching it and I was like, I, you know what? I just, wanna, I just wanna see if it looks good on me. In theory, like I had, it wasn't a bad idea, it's just not really my style. This collar stuff is just too much for me. I, I really can't get jiggy with that. And I just thought it would be a nice, you know, faux leather jacket to have, but I don't know. So I'm I'm probably gonna be, no, I, I am gonna be returning this. As you can see, like, it doesn't look bad. It fits nice, it's just not really my style. I find that it looks a little bit better zipped up. I do think the, fur or whatever this fuzzy stuff in is in here it's really soft and feels good it's just too flamboyant i think this is by the brand new look i picked it up in a size large but it's just not really my style so the next item i have and by the way i absolutely love this thing this one is going to be a burgundy overcoat and this is by uh river island so as i mentioned not too long ago overcoats i've been digging a whole lot especially this season and when jordan brand sent me those bordeaux fives the burgundy and the maroon like kick just kind of went off in me so i was buying like burgundy maroon left and right but that's what inspired me to really gravitate more towards this not to say i would just wear them together although i could but just that overall dark wine color has been really attracting me lately it's not much to really say about this. It's seen a really nice, uh, some kind of wool blend um, as an outer shell. Nice, maybe polyester lining, I'm not entirely sure. Size medium, because with these coats, you always really want to size down. Um, but yeah, it's just a really nice burgundy overcoat. And following the overcoat trend, this last coat is going to be another overcoat in light gray by the same exact brand as the last one. River Island. 
Now this one is is messy. The wool is so just like I don't know itchy. Um, if it was reverse, I wouldn't be able to wear this. But of course it's on the outside, so it's not bad. The only thing is if it if you have something that this can easily shed on, it would probably do that. Um, but other than that, it's extremely premium quality. I don't know if it's 100% wool. It kind of feels like it is. But the intermix of the light and dark grays within it, to me, is just extremely dope. It looks good. It fits good. One of the things I thought was interesting is that most coats have, you know, buttons on the sleeves. This one doesn't, which I thought was kind of cool. Size medium, definitely a very dope overcoat. And lastly, I have a pair of Chelsea boots, and these are by the brand Walk London on ASOS. Now, I've never heard of the brand Walk London, and the only reason why I decided to buy these is because of the color. I didn't have a pair of boots in this somewhat nude sand color. Now, the boots that I really want and plan to get are the common projects in this color. I didn't really want to spend that kind of money right now, so I decided to just go with these and just, just take a chance. Now, ASO has free return, so if I wasn't going to like them, I just knew I just going to send them back and get my money back. But the thing that surprised me most about these was the quality. Because I was really intending on getting these and then probably sending them back because the pictures really didn't do them justice. These things actually fit great for, I think I paid, what, 70 bucks for these? And they, first, first of all, the, the box. The box just, the box amazed me because the box is, it looked like wrapping paper. <laughs> That's how kind of dope and cool that the box is. The overall quality for boots that are 70 bucks, not by any means. You know a boot that's a couple hundred bucks versus 70 bucks, you can tell the difference in quality. However, my black ASOS boots, which I paid like 60 bucks, 60 something, and these paid 70, it's not that big of a price difference. This quality is better than my ASOS. Chelsea's. Whoever the brand Walk London is, I think they exclusively sell on ASOS. I'm not entirely sure. I just couldn't find nowhere else to buy them. For the price point, the quality is better than what you expect for what you're spending. And that to me is a win. A couple things about these boots. They have a crepe sole, which I do like. I didn't have any boots like that. They're extremely soft to walk on, which equals comfort. Elastic side paneling, which you expect from all Chelsea's. Back pull tab and a really nice round toe. I think boots like this, once you wear them, they automatically give you a very nice silhouette on your foot. That's what I like about these, which is the reason why I decided to keep them. For what you're spending, you really can't go wrong. I don't know if these are still available. Of course, all links for everything that I've shown are gonna be down below in the description. If something isn't available, I'm gonna put something that's very similar. And if you're looking for Chelsea boots that are affordable, just check out Walk London. You might be surprised too. All right, guys, that does it for my ASOS haul try on video. Again, links to all items are going to be down below. Let me know what you think about these items down below in the comments. If you thought they were dope, not dope, whatever the case may be. Also, let me know what you guys have been wearing this winter and what kind of things you've been buying. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. Even though I've been posting lately, lots of videos on the way. And make sure you hit that bell so when I do upload, you will be notified. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Fuck you and all your expectations. I don't even want your congratulations. I recognize your false confidence and calculated promises. All in your conversations.